North of Dublin sits Malahide Castle, a grand structure and grounds that you can visit if you'd like. The history of the castle is fascinating, sometimes dark, and as you might expect, full of potential hauntings. Here's the story of Malahide Castle. Built in the 12th century, Malahide Castle was home to the Talbot family for centuries, with a brief period when it was given to a man named Miles Corbett. More on him later. The castle has survived war and time, unlike the many people who have called Malahide home. In the 15th century, Lord Galtrim was preparing for his wedding. It should have been a happy day, but lords do have responsibilities that must be taken care of including going to war. Galtron was killed in battle on the very day he was to be married. Such a tragic end has kept his spirit tied to Malahide, where his ghost is said to wander the halls, crying out in pain with a great wound in his side, and, I'm sure, terrifying the living who happened to see him. There is also the legend of the White Lady, because every haunted castle has a White Lady, this white lady can be seen in a painting hanging on the castle walls. She's beautiful and mysterious as her identity is unknown. Just like the paintings in Harry Potter, the white lady is said to leave her painting from time to time and walk the castle grounds. A third ghost haunting Malahide is Puck, a jester at the castle. Puck fell in love with a woman named Lady Eleanor who was actually imprisoned at the castle by Henry VIII. One night Puck met a violent end and he was later found stabbed through the heart while still wearing his jester outfit. Taurus visiting the castle reported seeing the unfamiliar face of a man who wasn't there staring back at them in the photos they take. It's believed that the face belongs to Puck the jester. Finally, we come to Miles Corbett who was given the castle by Cromwell in the 1600s. Corbett owned Malahide for just over a decade until Cromwell met his end, which spelled trouble for Corbett. He was hanged, and the castle were stored to the Talbots, but Corbett seems unwilling to let the place go. It is said his ghost appears in a full suit of armor, a suit that suddenly falls to pieces with no one inside of it. <laughs> 